Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back at Cyro Rock Studio. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a variant horror game part 6. So let's get into the video. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is making a flickering light. So, if we go down to our map, inside of it, I have these lights. So, let's go to this one. And inside of it, it is a model. And there's a part for the base. And then we have a light part. Inside of it, we have a surface light. So inside of it, we can click the light part, click plus, and add in a script. Inside of it, we can remove print whole world and type in local light equals to script dot parent dot bottom light or whatever the name of your surface light is. So if you go down and type in while true do, go down a new end should appear, and then we can type in script dot parent dot material equals to and then speech marks and then let's change it to something like metal like this so what this does it changes the script dot parent which is the actual light part and this changes the material from neon to then metal just so it looks like the light actually turns off now if you type in light dot enabled equals to false go down and what this does this disables the actual light. Then if we add in a weight, two brackets, and let's do math.random, two brackets, and let's do 0 0.25 comma one. So what this does, it's going to weight and then a random number between 0 0.25 and one. So this makes it look more realistic and random. Then if we go down, then type in script.parent.material equals to two speech marks and then let's set it back to neon like that once again go down and type in light dot enabled equals to true the last thing we're going to be doing is going down and now we'll just select this weight like this copy it then paste it at the bottom like that so we've closed it off and then test it out by clicking play so what's loading you can see the light turns on and off like this and also flickers so that's going to be it for the flickering light if you click stop now what we're going to be doing is making a flashlight my flashlight is going to be press F on your keyboard to turn on the flashlight you can also use a tool I also have a video on that which you can check out on my channel so to make the press F for flashlight script what we need to do is go to start a GUI click plus and add in a local script. Let's just name this local script to flashlight script, like that. So if we remove print her world and type in local player equals the game dot players dot local player. Go down and type in local character equals to player dot character or player dot character added colon, wait, two brackets, and then go down. Then if you go down and type in local, user input service, equals to game, colon, get service, and then speech marks, user input service, like that. Then if you go down and type in local, enabled, equals to false, go down and type in local light, like this. Now we're not going to do anything like equals to because we're going to set that in a minute. So we have type in user input service dot input began colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then input go down and type in if input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot f then you can also change F to any key on your keyboard. Then type in if not enabled. Then go down and type in enabled equals to true. Then type in light equals to instance.new. Two brackets, speech marks, and then spotlight. In between speech marks and brackets, we do comma, character, dot humanoid root part like that 
and then we could do light dot brightness equals two and then we could change the number so let's try it out with 10 like this go down type in else once again go down and type in light colon destroy two brackets go down and then enabled equals to false like this close it off and then we can click play before we click play let me just change the fog back to 70 there we go now click play so once loading if we click f on our keyboard like this there you can see the flashlight turns on and we can turn it on and off and that's it for the flashlight if we click stop so the last thing I'm going to be doing is making an intro screen. So if we just enable the UI like that, go to start a GUI, click plus and add in a screen GUI. Name the screen GUI, do something like intro GUI like that. Also let's just make sure we tick this box like this. And also make sure reset on spawn is off, so untick that. The next thing we need to do is click the GUI, click plus, and add in a frame. If you scroll down and change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0, like that. If you change the background colour to something like black. Then if you add in a text label, like this, change the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then change the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 like that so now you can see it's in the middle of the screen then if you change the size do something like 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 so now you can see the label fills the entire screen if you go up to background transparency and set that to 1 go down to text and change colour and also make sure text scaled is on. Then let me just change the font. Like this. If you want you can change the text but we're going to do that in the script. The next thing I'm going to be doing is adding an image label. I'm only doing this because I have my own custom logo. If you also have a custom image logo they could do the same. So click the frame. Click plus, And add in an image label. Once again, change the anchor point to 0.5, comma 0.5, like that. Change the background transparency to 1. Make sure the position is 0 0.5, comma 0, 0 0.5, comma 0, like that. Then if you change the size, maybe something like this. Then I'm going to add my image ID. And the last thing we're going to be doing is going down to image transparency. Set that to 1. Do the same for the text, so click the text label, go down to text transparency and set that to 1, and then the same thing for the frame, click it, go to background transparency and set that to 1. So the last thing we need to do is click the intro GUI, click plus, add in a local script. Before we carry on, if we go to replicated storage, go to remote events, click plus, add in a remote event and then name it to intro event like that. So if you type in local tween service equals to game colon get service two brackets and then tween service in between two speech marks go down and type in local player equals to game dot players dot local player go down and type in local remote event equals to game dot replicate storage dot remote events dot intro event like that go down and now type in local screen gui equals to player dot player gui colon wait for child brackets and speech marks and then intro GUI like this go down and type in local frame 
equals to screen GUI colon wait for child brackets and speech marks and then frame like this once again go down and type in local image equals to frame colon wait for child brackets and speech marks and then image label once again go down and type in local text label equals to frame colon wait for child brackets and speech marks and then text label now if go down twice and type in frame dot background transparency equals to zero so what this does it automatically sets the frame background to visible then go down twice and type in local frame invisible equals to two point brackets and then go down then local image visible equals to once again point brackets do the same for invisible local image invisible equals to two point brackets and then do the exact same thing for the text so local text visible equals to two point brackets and once again we can just copy paste it but then change visible to invisible like that once we've done this we could go down and type in frame invisible dot background transparency equals to one then image visible dot image transparency equals to zero image invisible dot image transparency equals to one then text visible dot text transparency equals to zero then once again we'll just do the same thing so copy paste it change this to invisible and change zero to one like that go down twice and type in local info equals to tween info dot new two brackets and then let's change that to one like that go down and type in local tween frame invisible equals to tween service colon create two brackets and then frame comma info comma and then frame invisible like that go down and type in local tween image visible equals to then just copy paste this line like that change frame to image change frame invisible to image visible once again do the same thing local tween image invisible equals to paste it in and change image and then change this to image invisible once again do the same thing for the text then once you've done that you can see it here with the text so if you do remote event dot on client event colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then go down like that then we can type in text label dot text equals to speech marks and then let's type in something like warning colon this game has jump scares if you want you can write anything you want so just change this to anything you want once we've done that we could go down and type in tween text visible colon play two brackets go down add in a wait this wait number is going to be how long it shows the text for before fading out so let's do about four seconds go down and type in tween text invisible colon play two brackets add a wait let's wait about three seconds and then we'll just copy paste this line like this change the text to something else gamer mate 
presents. Once again, it swings it visible, waits four seconds, and then makes it invisible. After that, we can do about wait three, go down and type in tween image visible, colon play. Oops, that's invisible. Make sure it is visible. And then colon play, two brackets, wait four seconds, and then tween image invisible, colon play. As well as that, we could go down and type in tween frame invisible, colon play, two brackets, and that should be it done, like this. One thing we do need to do is close off this local script, go into our main game script, and then go to the top, go down a few lines and type in local, intro, event, equals game, dot replicate storage, dot remote events, colon find first child, two brackets and speech marks, and then intro event, like that. Then if we go down to the bottom, where it says start game event dot on server event colon connect. Let's just go down from this end and type in game dot players dot player added colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then player. If we go down and do enter to appear a bracket and then type in intro event colon fire client two brackets and then player like that. So close off the script and click play. Then once you load in, you can see one in this game has jump scares. It fades out after a few seconds. Then it says game and mate presents. Once again, after a few seconds, it fades out. Then the logo should fade in like this. And then it fades out to the main menu screen and we can click play like this. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye!